Thank you for tuning in to Prophecy Snapshots. Now, again, this is the very last part of the study, so I want to remind you. If you're watching this, go to our website up in the left-hand corner or somewhere on there. You'll see Menu. Hit the Menu, and then you'll see Prophecy. Go to Prophecy, and then you can watch the entire series one after another in an organized matter. Uh, okay, so uh, here, here we are. We have been looking at the new heaven and the new earth over the last few days. At the end of all time, God's going to destroy this earth. He's going to destroy the heavens. There's going to be the great white throne judgment for all non-believers. And then for believers, there's going to be a brand new heaven. There's going to be a brand new earth. That new heaven is known as the new Jerusalem. If I didn't say it before, it's 144 or 1,400 miles long. I'm sorry. 1,400 miles wide, 1,400 miles tall. It will have a jasper wall going all the way around it. It's going to be 216 foot, uh, feet tall. It's going to have 12 different pearly gates leading into the city. It's going to have the tree of life. It's going to have the river of God. It's going to have the streets of gold. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. Then on top of that, the whole earth is going to be like the Garden of Eden for us to run and to play and to enjoy and to fellowship and to worship the Lord our God. Okay, let's go down here to um, Isaiah chapter 66, verse 22. For as the new heavens and the new earth from, notice here, from one new moon to another. I said yesterday, there's a verse that says we don't need a moon, but God's going to give us some moons, and I think it might be just so we could tell time, because it's always bright. Then it said, shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord, all of those whose names are written in the book of life and who love the Lord. Look in Isaiah 65, verse 17. For behold, God says, I created a new heavens and a new earth. Now, what I want you to take note of, this is in the book of Isaiah. We've been mainly looking at this in the book of Revelation. This is all throughout the Bible, this, this teaching. And then it says, and former shall not be remembered. Let's just stop here. You are at the great white throne judgment. You saw loved ones. You saw friends. You saw neighbors. You witnessed to them. Or maybe you didn't witness to them. You better start. The Bible says, we're going to be crying. People say, the Bible says there's no tears in heaven. That's not true. There's tears at the judgment seat of Christ. But we see that they're sentenced to hell for all eternity, or the lake of fire for all eternity. Then God will erase your memory of what you've seen. And I believe of them. I know this is all hard to understand, but this is what the Bible teaches. And it says, nor shall it ever come to mind. All the bad things you ever saw will never come to mind. And God shall wipe away all the tears in Revelation 21, 4. He's going to wipe away all the tears from our eyes. And there shall be no more death, no more sorrow, no more crying, no more pain. Praise God. Th thank the Lord Jesus Christ. What the sweetest words I've ever seen. The words, no more no more pain, no more death, no more virus, no more, no more, no more. Oh, the day you go home, if it's at the rapture or God calls you home early, and anyone who's dying right now, you know you're going to die. When you step out of this body, you're going to be like a schoolboy, schoolgirl school running down the country road on the very last day of school for a summer vacation but this vacation is going to be for all eternity. You, you know, this study, this day could change everything for you. But because I know these things, because I teach it, I'm telling you, it can be, it's very challenging that you just want to live for God, encouraging to what, that you want to live for him. Listen, only one life will soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. Thank you.